Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Pops Productions Tech. I have here with me my Fire HD 2018 and I'm going to show you guys how to basically do anything on this device without root access and what to be allowing us to do this is the Amazon Fire Toolbox. So I am running the latest version of Fire OS 6 which is Fire OS 6.3.1.4 I believe so yes it works on the latest version as well and i don't think that it has any issues based on whatever version that you are on so um let's jump right in all right so basically you have to get of course the amazon fire toolbox installed and of course i want to give credit to data stream the developer of this tool and whoever else who is affiliated with this tool as well um so of course i have it downloaded and you download the latest version and um, it will download as a zip and you extract it and when you have the zip file extracted you are going to simply open it up and you will find these files in the zip file so you're going to simply select i have fire toolbox v6.5 and it will open up so as you can see here on my screen i have the toolbox already downloaded okay so before we connect our tablet to the computer we are going to enable USB debugging which is most important so let's go on to settings all right and now we're going to go over to device options so this is on Fire OS 6 it may be different on Fire OS 5 okay so on device options now we're going to head over to about fire tablet and um, be before we enable USB debugging, we'll need to enable develop options. So we're going to find our serial number, okay? And um, we're going to tap on that several times until we enable develop options. Now it's different on Fire OS, as you know, on typical Android, you tap on build number. You tap on build number, but on Fire OS, it's serial number. So we have that done. All right, so we have developer options enabled. So we go back and um, you here, you'd find developer options right down here. So you're going to select it. And um, in here, you're going to find USB debugging. As you can see, I have that enabled. So I am going to turn it on and I'm just going back to my home screen. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to connect my device. So let me just open up the toolbox in full screen. Okay, so the device has been connected and um, you can also tell that USB debugging is enabled by seeing USB debugging connected here on your screen. Alright, so when you have USB debugging enabled, you would receive this prompt here on your screen. Let me show you. You receive this prompt right here. Just ensure that you select either it's always or not, but I'm going to select always since it's my PC. So I'm going to select OK. And this is very important so that you'd be able to make whatever necessary changes on your device via ADB. All right, so now let me show you guys the various options that you have with the Fire Toolbox, the Amazon Fire Toolbox. All right, guys, so. Let me show you the tools that we have the options the varying options that we have we have manage everything amazon which in there you have the option to disable amazon apps and also restore amazon apps so if you probably want some of the amazon apps back you can do that um in today's video wow it's very tickling as to which one am i going to do but first off i will do a custom launcher because um i don't really like the amazon launcher um, I've had that from since Fire OS 5 and it's like very typical to me. I see it all the time So it's like I'm tired of it. I want a new experience. So I'm going to do so with Nova Launcher uh, But before I do that, let me show you guys um, what options you have on manage everything Amazon If you select disable you have the option to do so automatically or manually But if you do so manually, I'm going to show you guys the options that you have all right, so here's a uh, few options of the apps that you can remove um, right now so right here in our options you see we have from amazon alexa all the way down to weather so these are all the amazon apps that you have options to remove um, so that you can feel free to do that um, 
it's all your choice so i'm just showing you basically what functionalities the tool has um also let me go over to um you also have the option to install google assistant and google services which is includes the google play store and other google apps so you have that as well um you also have the option to install the google assistant as you can see here but it's a bit ticklish um, if you want to reverse the process you will have to reset to factory um, you also have guys um, lux screen wallpaper you can change the lux screen wallpaper and as you know it's a bit ticklish to change the lux screen wallpaper on your fire tablets so this app also allows you to do so um so basically you have this option there so just follow the prompts it's very easy just follow the prompts and you can do whatever you'd like um <clears throat> i will go ahead and change my launcher all right and um i'm going to do that now okay so i'm going to select choose uh, which basically means that i have to choose which launcher i'd like so this window here would show me which um, it would give me a list basically of the launchers that i'd like to install so as you can see there is nova launcher in the list well so as you can see nova ev and microsoft launcher so i believe when you install one of those afterwards you'd be able to um, manually install one of the those that you'd like any one of your choice so after you've installed nova um, you can download any other launcher from the device and install it so you can just have it over nova launcher and of course if you want the amazon launcher back you simply go back to the uh, manager with regards to the amazon app so you basically go back and um, you go to manage everything amazon and you can restore the fire launcher back all right so let me now go to change my launcher let's get rid of the fire launcher all right so what i'm going to do now is select nova which is what i want and i'm going to select ok now i'm going to select install and the installation should begin now launcher is being launched and um, here you can see that nova launcher is now on my device installed successfully um <clears throat> let me lower the brightness a bit so that you guys can see my screen clearly um, so yeah we have nova launcher um no more fire launcher so as you can see i can press the home button several times and it only remains on nova launcher which is amazing and um yeah so of course we also have modify system settings so this app is very extensive it has lots of options you have the option to disable firewall updates and um, also the automatically updating of your apps so you have all these functionalities on this app um, of course it has frequent updates so look forward to other functionalities being implemented um, yeah so that's basically it for today's video guys basically a heads up on um, things that you can still do on your fire tablet um, you know without root I mean it's the worst but um, this app is basically similar to that it just allows you several functionalities without root access so I trust that you enjoyed today's video be sure to subscribe to my channel like the video share it with others and I will see you in another one have a good one guys